How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week I reached into my phone bits box and I grabbed this little moon. Oh my bad, that's no moon. That's a space station. And like any good round space station, this little guy needed a trench around the equator. I used a sculpting tool to impress the trench and then I used the rounded back of an old pencil to create a perfectly sized divot just above the waistline. You may not be familiar with this terminology, but this is actually the belly button of the Death Star. The end goal of this diorama is to have this thing firing a beam of green light from the center of the divot, so I used a drill to make a hole that the beam will fit into later. I also lightly scored some panel lines into the foam to help get rid of the foam ball look and give it more of a mechanical appearance. This step was actually pointless, however, because I followed it up with some UV resin to smooth out the rest of the foam ball look, but it hid the panel lines as well. Don't worry though, I will bring back those panel lines with some paint later on. I cured the UV resin with a UV flashlight, which gave the ball a nice smooth and durable surface. I then took it outside and I gave it a coat of gray primer, and then I left it to dry and began working on the remnants of Jetta City. I'll be using some corkboard fragments to create the exploding ground that was a city just moments before. When you break this stuff, it creates some nice jagged edges that will work well for this diorama. In case you're unfamiliar with what I'm recreating here, it's a shot from the movie Rogue One. The Death Star is fresh off the assembly line and the super laser is ready for use. This is a chance for director Krennic to prove that his machine works and that he's not just smart, but he's evil as well. The Empire loves that kind of thing. Krennic decides to use the weapon on Jeddah City, a city located on the top of a mountain in a desert on a moon called Jeddah. The plan is to not use the full force of the super weapon, just to test it on the lowest setting and obliterate just the city rather than the entire planet, which is thoughtful of him. I assembled the cork in a way that hopefully appears like the earth is being cracked open and upward. And I'll be filling in the gap in the middle with some lights and polyester fiber fill later on. After I had a couple layers of cork and was happy with the way that everything looked, I installed a battery housing and I gently carved a hole for a switch. I'll be using this little push button switch, which I will disguise as a rock later on. I took the base outside to prime, and I realized I did that prematurely because I wanted to blend the outside of the base into the cracking earth, so I mixed up some plaster, paint, and Mod Podge into a nice thick paste and I spread that around till the cork blended into the surface around the explosion. I let the terrain paste dry, and then I took it outside and I primed it for real this time. And after that, it was time to paint. The mountain and city, or where the city used to be, are slightly darker in color than the area around. So after applying the paint and letting it dry, I dusted on some light sandy colored pigment powder. This creates a nice dusty appearance, which I feel worked well at this scale. After the sandy color was on, I drilled a hole to mount the rod that will hold the filament as well as suspend the Death Star. I also preemptively stuck together a few warm white filaments, all with the positive ends connected in the center and all the negatives pointing away. The rod that I'm going to be using is this brass rod from K&S Precision Metals. They make rods in a variety of metals, thicknesses, and lengths. I've used them many times in the past because they work really well for this kind of thing. I measured out and cut the rod to the same length as one of the filaments and I attached one more filament to the little filament spider, this time it was a green one. I then secured that in place to the rod with a small piece of a cocktail straw and I soldered the negative end of the green filament to the top of the rod. Once that was nice and taut, I tested my circuit to make sure everything was working. It's always a good idea to test as you go. I then drilled four more holes in the base to run the filaments through. After threading them through the base, I soldered them to the brass rod, which is wired to the negative wire coming from the battery housing. I then positioned the filaments to have a proper explosion-like appearance, and I tested the whole thing one more time before moving on to the finishing details. And uh, I'll figure out the underside later. To help diffuse the light, and make it look more like an explosion rather than a crater full of glowing spaghetti, I threw in little clumps of polyester fiber fill, which does an excellent job of communicating clouds, smoke, or explosions at a small scale. I was using super glue to glue all the cotton together, and then at one point it got onto my fingers and turned into a little comedy of errors. 
First it was my finger, and then it was the tweezers, and then back to my finger, uh, until finally I just had to cut off my finger with some scissors. I mean, I had to cut my finger free using some scissors. I of course needed to bring back those lost panel lines on the Death Star before I could finish this thing, so I painted those on with light gray. It's not the most perfect paint job I've ever done, but it looks okay to me, especially considering how small of a scale this is. I then painted the sides of the diorama black and I added some final bits of debris to the explosion. I suspended them as if they were floating in the cotton. The last thing to do was to stick this tiny Death Star into its position, and after that, I called it good. This build was part of a monthly art challenge that I put on for my patrons. The theme they voted on for August was Space Stations, hence my Death Star build. Please take a moment to appreciate all of their beautiful builds before moving on to my glamour shots. I want to say thank you and well done to all the patrons who made Space Stations last month. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Huge shout out as always to my patrons. You guys are the best. Have an awesome week, everyone. I'll see you next time.